Hi everyone, it's Alyssa here. I am the owner of the Blends and Beyond Facebook group and we are going to do a little bit of coloring today. So welcome if you are watching live or if you are watching the replay. So at the moment I am um, designing for my uh, Creative Card Makers Club which is a uh, PDF uh, monthly tutorial group and I'm going to be using the Country Flowers uh, for this theme for, for next month and we're doing a little bit of coloring um, in the in the membership so I thought I would try and work smarter not harder and I would film this live for you guys and also have it for the members of the tutorial group so I have got my images um, stamped out in Memento. So if you are new to using alcohol markers, then Memento is a water-based ink pad. And when we are using alcohol markers, we need um, water-based. So I like to think of it as opposites are attracting. So if you're doing um, alcohol-based, then we want water, alcohol and water. If you're watercoloring without inks, then you want um, alcohol and water as well, but you need the stays on, which is the alcohol. Um, so I just try and think opposites attract for those ones. Okay, so my color theme for these guys is a little bit different. So I'm using um, the Wild Wheat. I have got some Pool Party and Night of Navy and Petal Pink. So they're quite different, but I thought I would start off and show you exactly what I did for one of my classes. Um, one of my cards I should say and show you so the stool is actually pretty easy so we're going to start with um, the wild wheat dark let me zoom in so you can see a little bit better what's going on which is going to put me in an probably an uncomfortable position I usually like to try and work a little bit closer to myself but I've got to try and keep it in the frame so I'm going to start with the uh, legs of the stool and I'm just flicking down with my dark so these are sort of like a beginner style um, coloring. So we'll just do all of them and I'm bringing them down a fair way. Okay, nice and easy. And I'm just gonna click on my screen in case I have anyone watching. Linda is watching, hello, awesome. We got a few watches. It is Sunday here today. And uh, my hubby is away for work for the next two weeks. So when he's away, I sort of, my weekends are a little bit on the empty side. So I'm just going backwards and forwards um, just to fill in that area down the bottom. And then for the top of the stool, I'm gonna flick with my dark into the center. Now I like to turn around because I just find that easier for me to flick in this direction. And then again, I'm going to flick and I'm going to try and do nice long flicks so that they don't meet in the middle, but they're getting there. And then I'm going to come in with my light and I'm just going to go backwards and forwards, swishing it all together, making sure I cover that dark and into the, just cover the white area that's there. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back with my dark and I am gonna layer, do some more layering with my light because alcohol markers, you can actually layer on top of each other. So just coming in and I'm doing my strokes again, but I'm not coming down as far as I did the first time. And just doing nice gentle strokes and that you can see how that's darkened up under there again. And then I'm gonna do the same here not coming as far as I did originally, because I want to build up those areas on the um, outer side. So this way, we get to use a little bit more of our darker markers instead of our light ones, because we know how quick the light ones tend to want to run out. Okay, and then I'm going to come in a third time and I'm going to do another bit and just doing really quite light strokes and again I'm just not taking it down as far and then I'll repeat here bringing that in so you can see I'm hardly doing I'm hardly taking it out anywhere near I did to start with so that has just built upon itself and has made our stool so that's our beginner's guide to the stool next we're going to do um, the pot here and I'm just gonna look behind me I've got the card 
behind me. I'm going to actually show you what I did and then I came back and I altered it. So that is what I'm going to do. I'll show you the steps that I did. Uh, so we're going to start with, um, I'll start with my petal pink. And again, I'm going to do the same type of thing. Um, so I am going to start with my dark. And we'll just come down the bottom here. So flicking towards the middle, swing it around, flick towards the middle. They don't quite meet. And they're going to do the same with the top. So into the middle. Into the middle. And then with my light, I'm going to come in and I'm going to go over. So you can see the um, when I do this, it's sort of like just backwards and forwards and it's a little bit slower. Okay, and then I can switch back to, I can probably put away my light. I don't probably need it anymore. And we'll do that same building up with the, with the dark. Swing around. I, when I'm doing the longer strokes, I definitely feel like it's easier to swing around. Okay, and then a little bit more. I know it's Saturday night if you're in the US. I'd love to know what time it is in the US if you're over there, I'm thinking it's probably, well, it depends on what part of the US you're in as well. Okay, now my pool party is getting a little bit dry, my light one, but we're going to have a crack anyway. Um, so again, starting with my dark, flicking in. Swing around. Okay, so this one, it's just pretty much the same as the stool, but uh, I will come back. I'll let it sit like I did originally, and then I'll come back and show you what I did. Now, this one is getting very dry, and the way you can tell that it is becoming very dry is for a start, my nib is looking a little bit pale on the end, but it is very streaky. So when I try and fill this gap in, it is very, very, very streaky. So I'm not getting that good coverage and not getting that nice blend. So I actually have to go over this quite a few times to try and fill that in. So I have got a new one sitting ready for my order on Tuesday. I'm hoping I can get all my cards done before it completely runs out. But I've Tuesday um, on the 21st, we have free shipping. In Australia, it's for orders uh, $65. So if you're not in Australia, then make sure you know what your spend limit is to get your free shipping. But it is on the 21st. Okay, so that is what I did. Again, pretty easy. Okay, for my leafy plant, I'm actually gonna use these two colors. I like to keep within my theme and I didn't want to introduce a green into the mix. So uh, I don't know if I can see. Oh, I can see comments. There we go. I've just found them. How silly. So Shannon is here. Hi from Southern California, 9 p.m. in Wisconsin, which is the central time zone. Oh, perfect. And just after 10 p.m. on a Saturday night. Oh, in Canada. Wow, that's getting late, but I suppose it is Saturday night. We get to stay up a little bit later on a Saturday night, right? Um, okay, so now I'm just going to show you very quickly. I don't know whether this is normal or not, but I'm just looking for a scrap of card. My, um, my Misty Moonlight um, markers are very, very different in colour. And I'm not sure whether yours are like that or whether they're supposed to be like that. I can see a bug flying around in my room. I can see him see his uh, reflection on my glass mat. But my two colours are very, very different from each other. So I do, do prefer the dark one better. I'm just going to see if I can catch the light on that a little bit better. But they are quite different. Together, they sort of are a little bit okay. They're not a true misty moonlight, but I like... I like my dark one better, so I'm going to put, put my light one aside. I'm not going to use that one. I'm just going to use my dark. And just for um, uh, letting you know, I have replaced the nib on this one. And I do believe I replaced that one with 
the classic. I replaced it with one of these, a classic one. So I had just bought a handful of different nibs to try out. Um, but that is the one that is in this particular nib here. Um, I do have Ohuhu in other nibs, but anyway, so I am going to start with this one because this one is fun. So I'm going to do one at a time. And I love that you can, um, everybody needs to go on sandbox, okay? Sandbox that we need better nibs, please. I've, I do a sandbox every couple, of, <laughs> every couple of months and get on them. But I have only used this marker for this particular class that I'm doing. So I haven't used it a whole lot. And this one is, my end is very soft already and you can't put a lot of pressure on it. Whereas the other nibs, you can put a lot of pressure on it. So have a look at what just happened um, when I did that. I hope the lighting actually shows what's going on. Um, but I've gone from a blue into a quite a dark blue green. So, which I thought was pretty cool because I didn't want to introduce a whole new marker. I just sort of like to try and keep, when I do the classes, I like to keep supplies minimal, but I sort of was like, oh, do I bring in a green? Do I not bring in a green? And then of course, when I first did this, I was like, oh yes, you silly twit. Um, blue and green, blue and yellow make green. Do they not? Basic, basic coloring lessons. So I've made my own green that actually suits the papers quite well because they've got those undertones of um, of the misty moonlight and of the wild wheat. So I was really quite happy with that. So we're just doing the blue, bring the dark over and then, oops, I think I used the light then, doesn't matter, we'll just use dark over the top and then I start from the tip and I just flick back. So, okay, Shan is there. Oh, thank you, Shan. Appreciate that. Um, I do need to get my eyes checked because I, I've, I've got, my long sight is fine, my short sight is not so fine. So I'm finding that um, even working at this distance, my eyes are getting blurrier and I'm finding it a little bit hard to stay in the lines. So I think I need to go and get an eye test and maybe get some newer glasses. So it's amazing how much they can deteriorate uh, in two years. And now that I'm 50, <laughs> I guess that's just one of those things that's gonna happen, isn't it? Okay, so just moving on around with these. So I hope, I hope fine, like, watching other people color is relaxing because um i don't want to sometimes i try and rush things because i think oh you know and i'm conscious of your time but i also find that when i watch other people color i find it quite relaxing so we'll come around we'll flick around nice long strokes I have a feeling I will be changing the nibs on these ones very soon. If you haven't caught my video, um, it's in both in the Blends and Beyond group and it is also on YouTube. Um, they are back in stock on Amazon for Australia. Um, I do have an affiliate link for that one. I don't have an affiliate link direct for Ohuhu. I should organize that because they are available um, on the US store. Pack a bait and they give you a set of tweezers. I wish that they would also, I've also put in feedback to them that I wish that they would just do um, another set of markers without the tweezers because I mean, once you have one pack of set of tweezers, you don't really need one to come with every pack because they're metal, they're not throwaway, they, you keep them. So they sort of need to separate that and that would make them cheaper too, I reckon. Perhaps they don't want us to know exactly how cheap the market nibs are. So. It is, it's almost like a, 
it, it is almost like a khaki color. It's like a, a blue based, it's, it's a very blue based green. I'm trying to, I wish the lighting would sort of, I should, put, I'll, I'll pull in some other greens and, and we'll have a little comparison afterwards. Now I'm going to switch to the bullet because I just need to do these little stems, the stalks of the leaves. And I'll just go over that with my wild wheat. Now, what I also did is because, um, what I, you know, Misty Moonlight is in the mix, I did actually come back and add just a tiny bit of um, the Misty Moonlight again, just around the top areas or if there was any... Uh, if one leaf overlapped another, just to add a little bit of dark. It doesn't go blue. It actually stays, it, it takes on the green tone. Um, and it just sort of separates those leaves just a tiny bit more. So I'm only putting like a tiny, tiny amount down. And apologies if you are going to hear noise now. We, because hubby's away, we are having a very lazy... Sunday morning and my boys are only just getting up and in the shower. Now I do have a little bit of bleeding around there, but you know what, it's very minimal. I'm not too fussed about that. Now, um, I did come back to this one because when I die cut them and I sort of stacked them on top of each other, I was like, oh, this one is feeling a little bit washed out now. It, it needed, um, for balance, it needed a bit more depth. So what I did was I came in with my Dark Misty Moonlight again, and you'll need your pool party ones. And I actually added a little bit of um, the Misty Moonlight just down the edge here. And you're gonna go, oh, how are you going to blend them together? Well, it took a little bit of work, but I did get it okay and it gives a really cool look because that is a really strong stubborn color and when it comes time this is my dark one so when it comes time we're just going to now what happens is I'm going to bring in the light and I hope that there's enough left in my light to do this as well okay and I'm just going to because they do build upon each other. I can make that a little bit darker. And what you'll notice is that the lighter colors will actually, because the lighter colors have a lot, a lot more solvent in them than the darker colors, um, they will start to, I, I just call it eat out. It's like bleaching. It bleaches the darker colors a little bit because there's a lot more solvent in them. Um, and I'm just going to go over that edge and it will bleach out that misty moonlight and soften it up. Okay, so you do have to work it a little bit, but when it all dries, it actually looks pretty cool. So I'm going to hope, hope that I've got enough going on here. So we'll go backwards and forwards. Oh, listen to that squeak as well. We are dry, dry, dry. And then I can also do the same type of thing. And I'll try and bring this up to the screen and show you just what I mean when it gets bleached out. You've probably noticed it yourself when you've tried to bring a lighter color into a dark. But I thought that looked pretty cool. Give it a little bit more intensity. Didn't make it feel so washed out. And, um, and it sort of suited the green, um, the misty moonlight in the leaves sort of suited this a little bit better. So you can see how it's sort of like given a little mottled um, and washed out and bleached out look, but I quite like that look. So, um, but it just added a little bit more oomph and um, Okay, so there we go. Okay, so let me pull out, just, just for fun, let me pull out some greens and we'll see. This is um, Mossy Meadow. Oh, shit, that nibs. Oh, there you go. Look at that. It's come quite close to, that's Mossy Meadow Dark. That's Mossy Meadow Light. So it's actually come quite close to a Mossy Meadow. So it's probably got a little bit more blue and this is, um, this one is a Superbrush Copic nib. 
which is what's in the regular Copic markers. So that's old olive, so it's definitely more of a blue, um, more of a blue mossy meadow, a blue based mossy meadow. So there you go, but that's fun. I thought anyway, there you go. So if you're doing, um, if you wanna keep supplies minimal and you need your green, don't forget, blue and yellow make green. <laughs> a happy little accident I had. So there you go. Hope you um, enjoyed watching. Thank you, Bonnie. Um, I do. I was away for a little bit, and I was sort of like getting um, catching up, and I'm catching up now, and I'm getting there. So, but I do want to try I've got glue on my glass mat. I do want to try and set a regular date that we just come in and do a live, just basic stamping, not making any cards, just basic coloring. Um, and just sort of like beginner style coloring. So I'm hoping to put that on my agenda once I get everything cleared off my plate again. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. Have a great rest of your Sunday afternoon or Saturday night, um, or I think in the UK, they will possibly be uh, in the middle of the night and they will be waking up uh, in a couple of hours to hopefully catch this. So thanks very much for joining me and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.